Wow, welcome to South Korea, home of exotic foods, of tradition, excitement, and innovation. Thanks to Rotary International, four of us from Central California were able to travel to South Korea on a cultural exchange. We had some wonderful experiences, but I must admit I often dreaded meal times. I wondered, would there be a dish that I just couldn't bring myself to eat? Besides food, there was much to see. Like these performers outside a castle built in the 18th century. A woman sitting on air at the Seoul Motor Show. And the 2nd Infantry Division Taekwondo Demonstration Team. We also met a lot of marvelous people. Okay, maybe not quite that many. This, again, was the Seoul Motor Show. Some of the places and things we experienced were more daunting than others. I would rather face this man in a dark alley than face steamed silkworm. This was the first challenging snack we encountered. Some of our Korean interpreters refused to go anywhere near it, and yet it kept reappearing. The last time was at the dinner table. Ah, the dinner table. It was low, so you had to sit on the floor, and I was afraid my leg would cramp up so I wouldn't be able to stand up after dinner. And then there was a small matter of chopsticks. I gave up early on, and I was often given children's forks with pink plastic handles covered with little bears and flowers. Some foods were very spicy. Without the Mexican heritage of my colleagues, who could eat anything spicy, I felt like I would spontaneously combust if I ate some of those dishes. I found the other foods to be quite tasty. Much of it was cooked at the dinner table with mysterious side dishes served in little bowls. It didn't matter what kind of food it was. Rest assured that every traditional meal was very, very, very well documented. Here are some non-food experiences. Our team leader allowed this acupuncturist to stick a two-inch needle into his neck. He says he felt better afterwards. And then there was the singing and dancing at a social welfare center. I think we were quite a hit that day. We also visited several observatories where we learned about North Korea, and we added our thoughts and hopes for unification of North and South Korea to the hopeful thoughts of many others. And then, dinner. I think I'll let this part of the video speak for itself. Oh, Jesus, Ricardo, it's still moving, it's still alive. Of all the tourists in downtown Seoul on this particular day, we were chosen to wear traditional Korean dress and participate in a ceremony in front of a palace. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the name of the palace. Yes, that's our team leader. This is a traditional Korean game, and like most of our activities, it ended in a photo shoot. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready for the moment of truth? With one notable exception, raw cow stomach, I tried pretty much everything we were offered, including this kimchi we made ourselves. We had many other marvelous experiences in Korea, but all too soon it was time to leave with heavy hearts and extremely heavy bags.
Korean food is like the people you meet every day. Some you never ever want to see again, and others you want to revisit over and over because they make you feel good.